Hey makers, this is Thruveen and in this episode, I'm going to talk about top 5 Microsoft build announcement. So let's get started. If you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram so far, do follow me. So first announcement is around Power Apps Copilot. So let's say for an example, I have a data in the spreadsheet format like this. Now let's say using this Excel spreadsheet, I want to create an app. Then there is an option to start with the data. You can simply upload your Excel spreadsheet. After you upload your Excel file, it will show you the preview. It will detect the perfect data type over here. You can also change the column type depending on your business requirement. Once you find that it is good, then you can simply click on create an app. And once you click on create an app, it will create this kind of application for you. This application is totally responsive and you can see the preview in the different responsive layouts like this. With that, it also allow you to add Copilot as a control inside your Power Apps application where you can ask the question in the natural language about your data and Copilot will answer those questions for you. For Copilot, I created already a dedicated video. So if you haven't gone through that feature, please go through. The link is available in the description box. Second important announcement in Microsoft Build is around low code for coders. Microsoft Power Platform always welcome the coders and now it come up with CI CD for developers and provide the code first experience as well. Over here, let's say for an example, this is one GitHub repository and let's say we want to deploy the apps from your development environment to production environment and you want to create some sort of specific pipeline, you can easily achieve it using this option. You can simply create the code space inside your github and in code space you can define the different action you can write your test cases and that will download your power apps and simply deploy to the production environment so this is another cool thing which is announced one more interesting thing in build announcement is copilot so we have heard the word copilot many times in the different microsoft product but microsoft already started implementing copilot from 2021 it's nothing like a new its whole journey. In 2021, they come up with natural language for PowerFX. They come up with natural language for DAX. In 2022, we have seen the image and Figma to the app. And in Power Automate, we asked the natural language to flow and format data by example. And now in 2023, there are lots of things introduced into the different products as a co-pilot. So co-pilot is nothing like a sudden, but it has a revolutionary journey from 2021 to 2023. And in upcoming year as well there are more cool things come up for the co-pilot stuff also in power apps power automate and power virtual agent we have co-pilot but now power bi and power pages are also also added microsoft power platform co-pilot now let me show you how co-pilot is helpful into the power pages so let me talk about the third interesting announcement around co-pilot in power pages so let's say for an example, you have power pages and let's say for an example, you want to create some kind of portal. So copilot is available here. Just tell your copilot what you want to build. And after that, what happened here is after processing, let's say I am just writing a create a product page for student loan or application. Once you do that activity, it will create the appropriate page for you. And you can see that appropriate color schema are already applied for that. So this is another cool thing which is introduced here, not only for the page but let's say for an example if on your page you have different element and let's say if you want to add some content you can just ask to your co-pilot that I want to write some uh, content about overview of student loan offered by this bank and it will start generating a content and over here there are also different adjustment option available so it's like a chat GPT kind of experience it provide it provide the content here and you can simply click on that and you simply add that content on your web page so this is cool it's not only limited to that content but let's say if you want to create a form inside your uh, power pages at that time also it is useful so it provide you this kind of ai generated form interface where you just need to define that what kind of form you want to build you even don't need to think about the schema and all behind the scene it create everything automatically and show you as a preview you can uh, still ask the question and modify the form depending on your requirement and if you are feeling happy just click on ok and that will create a form for you let's say 
form is created but not if you are not happy with the layout over here then you can simply ask the question to your co-pilot to generate a css for you so what happened here is it will automatically add all the css class inside your visual studio code file so whenever we have power pages over here we always have edit in visual studio code so in visual studio code when you go to the css part you can see all the css classes are added and you can just apply appropriate css over here depending on your requirement so this makes our life much more easier another interesting talk in microsoft build is around generative ai we know that generative ai in the power platform is everywhere it's not just limited to copilot we can use the open ai in power apps power automate power automate desktop you can also use that in the power pages also you can use the same open ai in the dataverse and power virtual agents the fourth important announcement in Microsoft Build is around Power Virtual Agent's Generative Answer Facility. So this is nothing but it instantly create your own ChatGPT-like application from your data. Over here, right now, let's say for an example, you have a public-facing website or let's say if you have a SharePoint document library and if you want that your user ask any question and it will automatically generate answer from the content that you provided then automatically it generate the response from there you don't need to write any single line of code or you don't need to generate any manual topics for that so over here you can see that this is some public facing site sharepoint document library and if you are asking the question it automatically answer that accordingly over here it also provide the flexibility to connect the different connectors so let's say for an example with generative ui if you ask that what's the temperature now it automatically check what are the free connectors available and using that it generates this tracing mode automatically for you and show the appropriate temperature for you so this is another cool interesting announcement and i will create the detailed video around power virtual agents and generative ui soon on my channel so stay tuned the fifth important announcement that I love the most in Microsoft Build is Microsoft Fabric. So Microsoft Fabric is an end-to-end -end analytic product that addresses the every aspect of the organization's analytics need. So this Microsoft Fabric is a combination of the three products underneath one umbrella. So those products are uh, Azure Data Factory, Azure Synapse and Power BI and underneath that right now seven different uh, workloads are there and all these things are stored under one location called one leg. So one leg is like a one drive of your data and they come up with lots of functionality over here under Microsoft Fabric. I created a dedicated video already on Microsoft Fabric and all its component what is that and all so you can just refer my previous video on that. That. So that's all for top 5 Microsoft build announcement according to me. Tell me in the comment section which one is your favorite. If you are looking for any training or consultation, the website link is available here. And if you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me. And don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram account because these are the platform where I'm uploading short content on Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe my another channel Digital Throwin where I'm uploading short content on Power Platform. With this, this is Thruveen signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.